Al Langford, British champion. Just how old are you again? Um, 90, I turned 19 in February, so... Can you even imagine things like that when you when you start training out to be British champion at the age of 80? I mean, from this season, it was always in my mind, but you know, as you get into the competition, you start to have a bit more doubts. You're thinking, yeah, I've got these experienced guys. Is it? Is it? Am I ever? Am I being too overconfident? And am I? Am I doing too high? But you know, no dreams too high. You've got. You've got to go for it. And I am. I'm very happy with how it went. And I. Um, I showed everyone that I could do it. There's some doubts, just thinking I was being a bit too, you know, speaking too high, but you know, I've proved them wrong. So What's well. it like having Michael Rimmer on your back as well? Uh, it was quite a scrappy race, I was watching it from the back a bit, maybe seeing what he was doing there. A bit of a tougher with him and Richard a couple of times, and then we caught together with the last with 200 minutes to go, but you know, it's, it's a pleasure to run with a guy like him and um, learn from him as well. Like, I still learn, and even though I won, like, you can still learn from these guys and how they race. So, yeah, and uh, managing to hold him off in the last 100 and being able to start with 20 minutes to go is, uh, is a really, a really good thing. I'm very happy. And what's tell us a bit about yourself, obviously, you're just about to say. 19. What's your background? So, so where, where are you based? Um, I was born in Watford on an estate. Um, I grew up playing football at school. Um, ne never really. I, I was kind of always a class clown at school, and always uh, and never, never. It's me in education. I, I, being academic wasn't wasn't a great thing for me. I always struggled with concentration. Um, always getting in trouble about. Um, and I mean, probably about like four years ago, I started just doing little bits of like once a week for my coach, and gradually I did the 400 for the club, and gradually did little bits through the start of. Uh, 2011. So, and then I remember doing my last, my first 800 at the end of it at Watford Open. And co my coach said, "Yeah, you, know, you run 206." Put me in 206 race. My dad said, "You'll run two minutes." And I won 201. And uh, and then I think from that that point on, I was an 800 meter runner. Got a good indoors in me. Um, and then won 151 the next season. So, and it's all kind of been a gradual progression from there. So, you know, it's uh, athletics has changed my life for me. It's given me something more positive to focus. On. And you know it's a dream really come true so far. So. And who, who did you who you looked up to in the in these times when you've been obviously progressing? Um, when I first started, I, I didn't really know too many athletes. I knew who Bolt was, and, uh, and that was about it. But I think the one person I always looked up to mentality-wise, Adam Jamili. I thought I remember seeing him at a competition. I saw him at the Olympics, and I thought the way he was to other people around him, he was not up himself. He was he was a really great guy and I kind of always looked to him and I thought he's a, he's a really nice guy. I've kind of always kind of looked up to mentality wise. Obviously he's a 100 meter and I'm an uh, 800 but um, I've always kind of looked up to how he is mentality towards other people and uh, he, he's very humble and actually also not in the athletics world but Anthony Joshua the boxer. I've grown up in the same estate as me. Um, best friends with his brother. We, we, we've always known each other. And um, seeing him graduate progress, Olympic champion um, from the same state, it's really nice and he's a very humble guy and, you know, it's nice to see these guys and it's kind of motivating for me. So. And finally, I'll let you get we've been doing so many interviews, what's the, what's the aim, what's the, what, the next couple of, let's go with the next couple of years, what's the final aim? Um, you know, we want to go to World Champs this year, just, just for the experience, if not, it's not the end of the world. Um, Olympics next year is 100%, that's something I've always looked at. Um, but hopefully we say World Championships in London in 2017, I'd like to scrape a medal there, maybe even, you know, I, I, I dream big, so I, I'd quite like to see how, how good I can do it. And I, I believe in myself, so hopefully train for it and uh, I can do it. Brilliant, thanks a lot, mate. Thank you very much.